Okay guys, so welcome back to another video. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to check my light angle. Uh, as you know, in previous videos, I've been trying to figure out where I'm hitting the ball, whether I'm, um, you know, I'm putting it a little bit too upright or hitting it too flat. So I seen the, uh, the ping table, uh, there's a chart there that you can look at. And basically you have to measure from your wrist all the way to the ground. And my measurements were 35. So that suggested that I use uh, the setting of one up on the clubs. But uh, obviously they said that it wasn't 100% uh, reliable. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna try to determine if I'm hitting down on the ball on my line angle, if I'm hitting it a little bit like this or too flat. So, and then basically that will determine whether I need to, whether uh, for my swing it would be ideal to to have a setting of upright or flat. So stay tuned. Okay, so basically um, what my guess is uh, I do tend to hit some balls to the right a little bit, sorry, to the left. So uh, I think I keep it a little bit too upright. And if I'm not mistaken, I've been having it wrong because I've been thinking that I need to to have a little bit like upright more and I think it's the opposite. So I'll find out today what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mark this ball right here. I'm gonna draw a line, a straight line. It has to be straight. Just I just follow the dimples here. And when I put it on the ground and I strike the ball, uh, if the line is it tra it's gonna transfer to the club. If the line is straight, that means that my strike is ideal. So the line is like this is, um, is ideal. But if the line uh, points to the toe, then that means that I'm hitting a little bit too flat. And if it points to the uh, to the heel, uh, that means that it's a little bit too upright. So, anyways, so let me start by marking the ball. Okay, so two dimples, make sure it's straight. And um, I'm gonna hit my nine iron. You're supposed to do it to like with all your irons actually, and obviously it has to be flat has to be straight here and this has to be straight and I'm gonna align it to my target which is a little bit over here so like that and let's see what happens just gonna take a regular swing okay and I didn't catch that very well but I can already see uh, obviously, you don't want to do this just once, but yeah, this is very interesting. I can already see the the, the line. Let me show you. The line right here is pointing towards the the heel. So that means um, that I'm uh, keeping the club a little bit upright. So that means I'm keeping the club a little bit too this way right here. Uh, and actually, you know, um, if I were to fix that, actually I can either fix my swing or try to adjust the club. So um, if I were to just keep that swing there, I would have to have uh, the lie flatter. So not one up like I was thinking. So it has to be the opposite. So it has to be flatter, like about one degree maybe or two. So anyways, I'll do a few shots. Uh, with my nine iron and then I'll do you're supposed to do it different like maybe a nine iron and then maybe have like a five iron and try to see if it, because sometimes it changes your your swing um, on different irons so yeah that one I pulled it a lot so and yeah that's crazy even if I hit it off the toe um, it shows the line that this is really interesting so I don't know if you can see that, but that's pointing to the to the heel. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit a five iron and see what happens. Just straight. See if uh, anything changes here. I'm a little conscious now, obviously, but try to keep it the same. Okay. This is straight. Yeah, you can see this better. So on this strike, that's pretty straight. So 
I think what I'm either doing, I'm, I'm trying to correct it now. I'm uh, still going a little bit to the left, but I think that's more my swing. So I think uh, that's why you got to do it on all clubs, not just your nine iron. So you have to try nine, seven, five, and that, this one looks straight. So. Okay, so that was straight, definitely straight. And here, though, it shows that it's a little bit towards the, the heel. So, you can see towards the hustle, the line. So, from many shots, I would say that I do tend to, to strike it uh, a little bit like this. Maybe like one degree or something. So, uh, it will be interesting for me to try um, the flat degree, like maybe one. Basically, that's just saying that I'm striking the ball a little bit like this instead of coming a little uh, normal like this. This is a normal lie. I'm striking it a little bit like this. That's why it's going to the left. And my setting would actually be better, uh, flatter, right? So that way I can strike the ball a little bit more like this. Okay, so that was it for the, uh, for the video, guys. Um, uh, if you're, if you're um, interested on your swing and see what lie angle you have, it's something simple. All you need is a Sharpie pen um, a ball and then just uh, draw a line through it uh, in my swing I think what I gotta do more than trying to get you know change the clubs to fit my swing I think uh, for me it's easier to just keep it a little bit more flatter on my address so rather than keeping it too much like this so anyways uh, but that shows that basically I was wrong I was thinking that I needed more upright but actually it's the opposite if I were to keep my swing like this uh, I would need actually something flatter because I tend to strike the ball more like this. But obviously it depends on the clubs that you on, on the irons that you use. So anyways, I find this really interesting and I think I will uh, do a little more testing and then maybe get on the track line because the track line will show you exactly your ally angle as well. So, but uh, most importantly, I think it's better to do it with different clubs, different irons, because uh, it might change from like your pitching wedge to your five iron so and if you want to do super you want to be super precise you may have to fit um, different irons differently so anyways i uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, thanks for watching until next time